All right, we're here with Midview head coach Jack Armstrong. And Jack, uh, you played at Midview, and now you're the head coach at Midview. Just kind of talk about how it awesome is to be your head coach at the, your alma mater. Oh, it's an amazing experience. Um, a lot of people through Midview football have given me a lot and made me the man I am today. And I'm really ready to give back to these kids, to give them the tools so that they're successful in life as well. So I'm super excited for this opportunity, and I'm ready to get better every single day. You guys went to an A last year. Do you feel like they have a chip on the shoulder or do you want them to have a chip on the shoulder because of the, all the attention that the last year's senior group got? So really, um, we're a young and inex inexperienced team and our goal is to be the best versions of ourselves every single day. So I would say that our goal every single day is to get better and really take it week by week. So we're still uh, two weeks out from Westlake, but we were already preparing, getting better every single day. So, um, yeah, so that's a good thing because these kids have the right attitude and that's what we want to make. What's been the message to the team so far? Get better every single day, keep the uh, foot on the gas, and never let off. Um, continuously improve every day and be the more physical team. Physicality, we're trying to emphasize this year and really reset the midview standard to what it used to be. You guys got Austin Dyack coming back in, Dane West. Just kind of talk about some of the other players to watch so far this year. So yeah, um, those two are great players. I have high expectations for Dane. Austin unfortunately had an injury. We're not sure if we're gonna have him this year, but he's a wonderful kid, a wonderful football player. Um, we have a quarter comp co quarterback competition between Ethan Elbert and Cody Martin. Um, whoever is a starter, they can throw the ball wherever we need it, which is a major, major strength to have. Um, offensive line, uh, we have Danny Dular, a returning starter, that's going to be doing a great job. And then we have some junior tackles, Makai Massey and Tony Jackson, which could step in and be a factor on our offensive line. Defensively, we have some young and, up, up, young and upcoming players. Uh, Michael Pazarello, sophomore, he'll see, some, he'll see the field. He'll be a playmaker. We have Cross Worthy, we have Cam West. They're going to do a great job defensive line wise. We have a senior Gabe Boer stepping up. So we're super excited about all these kids. And we also have Dior Jones, which will play wide receiver and um, linebacker, which is a very explosive, another threat to complement Dane. Well, Coach, thank you for the time and good luck on the 2023 season. Thank you. All right, we're here with Benjamin Senior Dane West. And Dane, I feel like that you guys got a lot of younger reps. You went to Austin and some of the younger guys from last season? Yeah, I mean, we got a, we got a lot of reps last season. and. Um, Going two and eight, um, it's an it's a new year, so it's new us. We we have a whole different team, and we're working hard every single day. And I I think this year will be uh, a lot different, and we're we're gonna turn things around. How excited are you to play for Coach Armstrong this year? Um, I'm I'm so excited. I'm I've had him in the past for the past three years, and I I've he's he's coached me every, all three years, and he's he's a great coach, and I look forward to this season with him. And what are your guys' expectations going into your senior season? Our expectations are to get better every single day and um, have fun, obviously, and we're, we're going to have a better season than last season. Because, and, and to get our, our community get together more and bring everything up. Well, Dane, thank you for your time and good luck on the 2023 season. Thank you.